The following is part one of a four-part series on developing weather-ready schools, produced by the National Weather Service, Chicago. Chance, go ahead, go. What do you see? David, people in West Fork need to be underground on this tornado. We have debris, large, large chunks of debris. Moore, Oklahoma, May 20th, 2013. The violent Moore tornado was first observed developing at 2.56 p.m. and later destroyed much of Briarwood Elementary School, where the National Weather Service Storm Survey Team rated the damage as EF-5. Despite the destruction of this elementary school during school hours, no fatalities occurred. The tornado then continued to move through densely populated suburban neighborhoods of southwest Oklahoma City and Moore, where the violent destruction was widespread. Damage to Plaza Towers Elementary School was extensive, and seven children were killed when a wall collapsed at the school. Overall, more than 300 homes experienced EF4, EF5 damage, and two dozen people lost their lives. Illinois and Indiana are no strangers to violent tornadoes too. Washington, Illinois, November 17, 2013. The tornado reached a maximum intensity of EF4 as it entered the city of Washington with peak winds of up to 190 miles per hour. The town was given a lead time of 16 minutes when the tornado hit at 11.06 a.m. 125 injuries were reported along with three fatalities. A total of 633 homes, seven businesses, and 2,500 vehicles were destroyed in Washington. The half-mile-wide tornado finally lifted after traveling over 46 miles and leaving a path of destruction in its wake. Schools need to be prepared to take action when severe weather strikes. According to the National Climatic Data Center, from 1991 to 2010, Illinois ranked sixth in the nation for annual occurrence of tornadoes. The question isn't if another school will be hit, it's when. Belvedere, Illinois, April 21st, 1967, 3.50 p.m. An F4 tornado struck the high school as students were boarding buses. Twelve buses have rolled over. Eleven children and two adults were killed and another 140 children were sent to the hospital. Thirteen of the 24 fatalities and 300 of the 500 injuries in this tornado occurred at the high school. Plainfield, Illinois, August 28th, 1990, 3.30 p.m. One day before the first day of school, an F5 tornado hit the Plainfield High School, killing three people including a science teacher and two maintenance workers. The football and volleyball team took shelter in a single hallway. Once the tornado had passed, this was the only hallway left standing in the building. In total, 29 people lost their lives and 350 more were injured. Henryville, Indiana, March 2, 2012. An F4 tornado struck the Henryville Middle and High School complex. School buses were picked up and thrown, one of which crashed through the wall of a restaurant. Two school buses were ripped off their chassis. Fortunately, students had been released well before the storm hit. About 40 stayed at the school to ride out the storm and survived without major injury. Despite the advances in science, technology, and education, the Chicago metro and surrounding region are still very vulnerable. There has not been a violent tornado disaster in the Chicago metro since 1990. An entire generation has never experienced a major tornado. In addition, numerous people have relocated to northeast Illinois and northwest Indiana from other parts of the country and world. Chicago's history of violent tornadoes is unknown to these people. The myths that tornadoes can't hit urban areas or will be stopped by the cool water of Lake Michigan are still often being found spread at local coffee shops and around family dinner tables. The truth is, tornadoes have struck major cities in recent years, including Atlanta, Fort Worth, Nashville, Miami, and St. Louis. Additionally, tornadoes have hit the city limits of Chicago, and have occurred at the lakefront too. As recently as 2006, a tornado occurred at the Loyola University campus and moved out over Lake Michigan as a water spout. It is only a matter of time until the current drought is ended and another EF4, or worse, EF5 tornado brings mayhem to the Chicago region. Schools can save lives by following four simple steps. One, have the right plan. Two, continue to practice. Three, always monitor the forecasts and changing weather conditions. And number four, follow through and act.
Thank you for watching, and this concludes part one of our Weather Ready Schools series.